When shopping for luxury European brand name clothing and accessories like Dior, Gucci, Chanel, and Celine, buying them actually in Europe can end up saving you up to 20% in comparison to if you were to buy these items in Canada or the US. In addition to finding better deals, you can also avoid paying sales tax or at least get a partial refund on the sales tax that you do pay which is known as a VAT refund. In today's video, we'll be exploring what a VAT refund is, who qualifies for it, how to obtain it, and then also if it's even going to be worth the hassle. You might be surprised. Value added tax, or VAT, is a tax added to the price of goods in European Union countries. It's just like the sales tax you pay when you buy something in North America. A VAT refund allows you to get back some of the sales taxes that you pay on your purchases while you are visiting qualifying European countries. You will have to initially pay the tax upfront, but you can later claim a refund either on your credit card or even in cash at the airport. And VAT refund rates can be significant, ranging from 8% to all the way up to 27% of the cost of the item that you purchased. I'll leave a link below that gives the VAT refund amount by country, as well as the minimum spend amount per transaction in order to qualify for a VAT refund. It's good to know that the refund you receive is not going to be the total amount of tax that you paid. So for example, in Paris, you may end up paying a 20% sales tax and then receiving only 12% as your VAT refund. Still pretty good. Canadians, Americans, and other non-European Union residents are going to qualify for a VAT refund. You do need to prove that you live outside of the European Union by showing your passport when you go to make the purchase. While you will not be able to get a refund on services or hotels or restaurants, you can get a refund on items such as clothing, accessories, electronics, and even souvenirs. However, it's not enough to simply buy anything you usually need to spend a minimum amount in a single transaction at one store. So you can't add up all the receipts throughout your trip in order to hit this minimum. The good news is that the minimum amount that you need to spend is quite reasonable across all of the European Union. So for Paris in France, for example, it's only going to be around 100 euros. And then there are also department style stores like Gallery Lafayette in Paris, where you can shop a ton of different luxury brands from Chanel to Hermes all in one place and then you take your receipts to the tax-free area on the first floor and all of those receipts can be combined to meet this minimum amount of 100 euros if you were in France. Another condition is that all of the items you buy need to be purchased from stores that offer VAT refunds, which are usually indicated by signs like tax-free shopping out front. You can confirm with a store employee if you are unsure. And then when making a purchase, you'll need to show your passport to the store and they will provide you with the necessary paperwork for the refund later on. At the end of your trip, you'll take your items, your receipts, and the VAT paperwork that the store gave you with you to the airport. Once you're at the airport, you can often use a self-service kiosk to scan the barcodes on the paperwork and initiate the refund process. The most common way to process the refund is to have it refunded to your credit card, which you can expect to happen within the next six weeks. Once you do this at a self-serve kiosk, you can often be on your way without too much hassle or even having to speak to any customs officer. It sounds quite simple when I say it like that, but there are quite a few things that you need to know and rules that you will need to follow. It's good to know that you will process the refund at the airport when you go to leave the European Union, regardless of where you made the actual purchase. So for example, if you bought everything in Paris, but then you were traveling to Milan for another week before heading back to the US, you wouldn't try to get your VAT refund at the Paris airport, you would do it when leaving Italy. And when you go to the self-serve kiosk to have your barcode scanned and initiate that refund, you do have the option to opt for the refund back on your credit card or to get an immediate cash refund. As I mentioned earlier, opting for the credit card refund is the most common and preferred way. It's also going to save you the most amount of time and get you the best bang for your buck. If you do end up opting for the cash refund, you will have to figure out where in the airport you can get that, and then you will have to go line up, speak to an officer there, and get the cash refund, at which point they also often take an administrative fee off of your refund, so you're getting even less back. It's also good to know that you will need to be initiating this refund process at the airport within three months of making the purchase, 
and it is expected that the items are unused and in their original packaging. So don't be that person that is buying a pair of Chanel flats and then shows up at the airport wearing the shoes hoping to get a VAT refund. Original packaging. And you likely won't have to prove that the items are unused, especially if you have success using the self-serve kiosk. But if there is an issue with the kiosk, or if you are departing from an airport where it is still done with a customs officer, they may ask to see the things that you bought and to verify the purchase before initiating the refund. If it's shown that these items are used and not in their original packaging, they may not be eligible. And if you do end up having to speak with a customs officer, there are a few other curveballs that could be thrown your way, such as having to mail some documents before getting the refund, so I wouldn't worry about it too much yet. It's also good to take note of the hidden costs to shopping within the European Union as a foreigner, such as any administrative fees that may end up reducing the refund amount. There may also be a conversion fee, since you are likely paying in euros and that may not be your home currency. Something else to keep in mind is that when you return to the US or wherever your home country is, you may need to pay an additional duty based on the total amount that you spent while away. Claiming a VAT refund could still be advantageous even with all of these little fees if you are spending a significant amount. If you wanted to avoid paying the VAT altogether, you could consider asking the store about having the items shipped directly to your home address as opposed to you buying them in the store and carrying them home with you on the plane. Check what the shipping cost would be and see if it's going to be worth it, as this could save you from paying any tax upfront and then you wouldn't have to go through any refund process at all. You could also purchase these items in Europe without paying any tax if you decided to buy them directly from the airport duty-free stores. The thing is that while you are not paying any sales tax at these stores, most of the items in them are going to be marked up in price and you're often paying significantly more than if you were to purchase the same thing outside of the airport. So you can see if the savings in tax is going to be worth the price markup that you will face at the airport and then weigh the pros and cons. So you wouldn't have to worry about getting a refund on any taxes or having to pay any VAT taxes up front but you are likely paying a lot more than you would be if you were to buy the same item outside of the airport, just due to the price markups. To sum all of this up, if you are interested in luxury shopping on your trip to Europe and you will be spending a decent amount of money and you do decide to claim a VAT refund, just remember to carry your passport with you when you go to make the purchase, to budget extra time before your flight to process the refund while you are at the airport, and then definitely keep all of your receipts and your paperwork and ensure that your purchase remains sealed in its original packaging. Let us know in the comments if you have ever claimed a VAT refund on your purchase in Europe. I would love to know how much you saved and if you think it was worth the process. Best of luck on your next trip and then I also hope you'll subscribe to join us back here for more travel tips and hacks next week. Bye!